And um, I'm now going to introduce Carolyn Wren. Carolyn is a Serenity Press author of Romantic Suspense. She's another powerhouse. How many books have you published, Carolyn? Twelve. Twelve or five more in the pipeline. Twelve or five more in the pipeline, as you do. <laughs> and you're going to be inspired as, as well by Carolyn. So, Carolyn Wren. Hi everyone. Um, the first question a writer gets is, did you always want to be a writer? And my answer is no. Um, I struggled writing witty comments on birthday cards and then just ended up writing happy birthday after 10 minutes. So I had no words in me. All my words, my life was numbers. Um, my only concept of a knowing anything about writing was I became friends with a TV producer who was working in Australia working on a science fiction show, and his world was full of stories, and I really envied that. But I never thought of it for myself. Until 2009, when I woke up with stories in my head, and I sat down and started writing them. Three years later, I was still writing, book after book after book. I had no idea what to do with them. So I started entering writing contests, and winning writing contests. So then I was an unpublished author with trophies. And because of these contests, it, I sort of heard about this independent American publishing house called uh, Secret Cravings. They took on one of my books and then I won another award for something else, so they decided to take the whole series. And they said to me, can we publish these eight books in a year? Okay, here's a, here's a little point. If someone says to you, can we publish your eight books in a year, say no. Um, I didn't, of course, say no. I'd never been edited, I'd never, I didn't know the first thing about editing, and here I was on this massively steep learning curve publishing all these books. That was great, it was a crazy busy year. I won novella of the year in Australia, so I was thrilled with that. And at the end of this period I thought, okay, the hard work's done, now I can start promoting, let's have a rest. 13 days later, my house was partially destroyed by a bushfire and rendered unlivable for six months. While we were putting that back together, my husband dis uh, discovered he needed major heart surgery. So then we had to put the house back together and him back together. All the writing went on the back burner. And when that was all over, and I was just thinking, okay, we're, we're fine now, let's get back to normal. My American publisher went bankrupt and all my books disappeared. At that point, I was thinking, so, maybe this is a sign, I'll just give up now. And while I was thinking that, I happened upon this book written by Serenity Press called Rice in the Dream, which were stories by other authors. And I realised that sometimes things go smoothly and sometimes things don't. And that inspired me. And for the first time in a couple of years, I actually had another story pop into my head. So I submitted it to Serenity and they said yes. And then Serenity picked up previous books that had been published in America. And that started my life with Serenity. And through Serenity, I met another publish, an owner of a publishing house uh, called Gumnut Press, and they have taken on two of my books. And I've just been in uh, contact with an English publisher, and they are taking on three more books for next year. So life's about to get really crazy again. So I have a lot to thank Serenity for, and a lot of inspiration for Serenity, and I have to say thank you very much for that, because they really kick-started everything again. But I wanted to say something else, and this is a really full circle thing. Do you remember I said I'd met this TV producer who was working in Australia? He was a great guy. He, he, he'd written episodes for Star Trek, so he was like my idol. And he, he created this character for this TV series, Farscape, made in Australia. And the character name was John Crichton. Now here we are, in Crumb Castle, um, organised by Serenity Press, and Crumb Castle, of course, is owned by the, the Earl of Erne, his name is John Crichton. So, how's that for? How's that for? Serendipity. <laughs> so that's, I know, I don't think he does, and no, I have no chance to tell him yet. So anyway, I, because I'm from Australia and I have a lot of books, I couldn't bring them all with me. So I brought samples of all the books. If you're still here at the end, and if you particularly want one, you, I might give you my sample, or sell you my sample. But I do have heaps of freebies. I've got loads of merchandising, little charms, and things like that. So please come and see me take some away, uh, there's loads of stuff. And, and if you want to, look up the website, find out where the books are. 
It's quite exciting because I just found out they're now available in Target.com in America, so that's really cool. And also Walmart in America. You never be, thought I'd be so thrilled to see my name in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am. So that's my story. I write romantic suspense. I also write romantic comedy. I do some urban fantasy paranormal too, but that's going to be released next year. So, and that's me. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Guys, Carolyn is the swag queen. If you don't know what swag is, it's lots of freebies. She's even got little wipes for your screens for your phone. Save me one of those. <laughs> she is amazing. <laughs>